Rule number 21. These adjectives take the genitive case, those denoting desire, knowledge, memory, fullness, power, sharing, guilt, and their opposites, present participles when used as adjectives, and verbal adjectives that end in ox. Eesh, that's a mouthful. So we have three different groups of adjectives here. Let's start with the adjectives denoting desire, knowledge, memory, fullness, power, sharing, guilt, and their opposites. Caesar describes the Helvetians as being a people desirous of making war. Homines cupidi, and cupidi is our adjective of desire, and it takes the genitive bellandi. Virgil has a famous phrase describing Juno, here represented as the daughter of Saturn. Saturnia memor, mindful, and this is our adjective of memory, that takes the genitive veteris belli, of the old war, and that's the Trojan War. And one more, Cicero, in the second Philippic, asks, what word is not full of humanity, duty, and benevolence? Plenum, here, is our adjective of fullness, and it takes these three genitives, humanitatis, officii, and benevolentiae. Here's a list of other adjectives and their meanings that take the genitive in this category. This is not an exhaustive list, but it's a good start. The next group involves present participles used as pure adjectives and not used as participles. So this would be when the participle is showing a general circumstance rather than a specific action. So here, from Caesar, multitudo insolens belli, a crowd unaccustomed to war. Insolens is acting as an adjective, not showing an action here, and so it takes the genitive belli. Or this sentence from Sallust, erat Jugurtha appetens gloriae militaris. Jugurtha was eager for military glory. Appetens is really just an adjective here, so it takes the genitive case rather than the accusative. The final group are verbal adjectives that end in ox. This is a feature of later Latin and poetry. So Ovid describes a racetrack as capax populi, literally spacious of people, but we can go with the more idiomatic, big enough to hold the people. Pliny describes a river as capax nauium, big enough to hold ships. And Horace describes a man as justus et tenax propositi, a man just and holding fast to his plan. Tenax takes the genitive propositi. So that is rule number 21. These adjectives take the genitive case, those denoting desire, knowledge, memory, fullness, power, sharing, guilt, and their opposites, present participles when used as adjectives, and verbal adjectives that end in ox.